So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna shuck oysters. Um, shucking oysters is actually a really easy process, but you have to be careful because you can really get hurt doing this if you do it incorrectly. What you really need is you're gonna need an oyster knife or a shucking knife. And they're pretty dull, pretty straightforward. Um, and the fact that they are so dull and kind of thick is kind of what makes them dangerous because you're not really gonna get a really nice sharp edge in there. You need something that's gonna be able to pop it open. But because you're using force, if your hand slips, you can really get yourself badly. So what I like to do is I like to make sure I've got a kitchen rag or um, you know, yeah, basically a kitchen rag or a good face cloth, fold it over a few times, at least four times, so that you can really have a nice safety net. All we're going to do is we're going to take the oyster and put it down in there and then literally fold it over to really make sure my hand is safe. Now the number one rule with any knife, no matter what it is, is always think about where it could go if it slips. So I'm not going to try and jab upward or go into my hand. I'm actually going to try and go down as much as I can. So if it slips, it just goes to the table or, you know, even below my hand. So all I'm going to try and do is brace myself a little bit and get a little bit of uh, stability. Take the oyster knife and what we're going to do is go in down to where kind of the, uh, the spine is or the hinge, I should say, right down here at the end. If you try and come in up by the mouth where it opens up, you're going to fight it, you're going to crack it, you're going to end up, it's not really going to work very well for you. So we want to come up from the back and really come in right where it kind of, you can see it actually fits in there nicely, right? So now what I can do is I can cover that up take my shucking knife, get in there, and then just whittle a little bit until it pops. And it should pop right open. Once you've got that cleared, once you've got that open, just to make sure you get any sand or dirt off, you can clean off the knife and then go in and pop that up. Come up underneath, and underneath, right in here in the back, there's actually a little bit of a muscle. So what we want to do is take the knife and just kind of scrape that out to release the whole entire thing. And now you can just shoot it. 